Hello people, and welcome back to part 13 of the City of Skylines build guide. Last episode, we worked on this little thing right here. Oh, and we have a Trey Wildlife Center leveled up, wonderful. We can add some more stuff to that today, that's actually the plan. Uh, last episode, we worked on starting out the beginnings of our high dense industry area. Now this will expand into here, and probably a little bit down here. And also on this side of the river banking as well, where we're planning on having all of our kind of cargo hubs. Uh, it's going to be really cool. Uh, but until we hit a certain point in the city, these things are pretty useless, which is why everything is turned off. Um, our mail sorting depot is getting a fair bit of usage right now. And you can currently see uh, all the post trucks milling around here. But I just wanted to take a step back today and kind of work on some projects that we'd had left. Not unfinished, but um, as far as we could take them, there's also bad traffic starting to form here. So this needs to be sorted, uh, and it will be sorted eventually off camera. I'm not going to force you guys to sit through that, don't worry. Uh, so a couple of off camera additions before we start. So in the new town square over in Braithwaite here, uh, we have added in a couple more mixed zoning squares. So if I put the zone in here. See, it's mostly residential, and we've got some commercial and office zoning mixed through here. So that's going to make a really nice kind of neighbourhood theme. And there's some paths uh, linking the two different streets together as well. See, these are a little bit big, maybe for my liking. May have to rebuild those ever so slightly. This is more what I'm after. And it's got a lot of office buildings and you know businesses mixed in around the residential. I wanted to work on this bit today as well. We have the pond in here now, finally. And there's a nice little bridge going over. Uh, so we have uh, the structure of this park sorted. I want to do some work on that today. Uh, also adding in some more of those new attractions into the wildlife centre that we have by the lake. Uh, and then also uh, the university campus, which I wanted to work on as well. So let's go ahead and start with that first of all. So jumping back into our campus and education tree and coming down the tech school. We have a couple of new buildings uh, unlocked, which is the trade school fountain, uh, which looks pretty cool. Now we placed in these vanilla park assets uh, to begin with, and they look okay, I think. I am happy with them, um, although we did have to delete one of the trade hall, uh, the uh, study halls, but I am going to place that back in now anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab uh, the study hall. I think I'm actually going to have to bring this road out. Uh, just a touch more so we can actually have something to snap it onto. There we go. So I'm liking the way this bit looks right now. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and delete that road. We will put something back in there eventually to connect it. But there is one main building here that we can use, which is the Police Academy. Now this thing looks really cool. Now, I don't think I want it right alongside the main road. What I am actually going to do is come ahead and grab a path... And that's going to flow right in front of this road all the way to the end. And then we're going to place the police academy uh, on this somewhere. Let's try and get it as, as central as possible. So just so I have a little bit of a marker, let's draw in a path here. One there. And then one down there. And we can delete this bit as well. So that's just going to let me know how close I can get to that path without actually deleting it. And here we have the Police Academy. So this thing is like obviously a big building. It's a lot bigger than the other two. And it really kind of, it's a nice kind of uh, point to focus your city on. So we have a little look at the description of it. So during the studies, cadets work with police officers and also keep an eye on the jail cell occupants, increasing patrol car count, jail ca capacity and police department efficiency. So all of our police departments um, across the city are now gonna have be more effective. Uh, our jails will also be more effective when we do place them. And we had a good comment from Jasif uh, to turn this into almost like a security island with some police stations and uh, maybe have our jail on here as well, kind of like a little mini Alcatraz, we can definitely do that. That sounds like a good idea. And you see, as we place that, we're getting some buildings uh, beginning to upgrade now as well because police stations uh, are becoming more effective and that's going to increase the land value around them as well. 
We also have uh, the gymnasium, which I don't believe we have placed yet. So let's go ahead and have a look where we can place this. So I think having a gymnasium right near the police academy would be a good idea. You know, young cadets are trying to train and keep in shape. I think that would be uh, an appropriate place to have it. Let's bring this path down here. Another one right there, and that's just going to box in the uh, the police academy nicely. And let's go ahead and grab uh, our gymnasium. I don't think we have the gymnasium, do we? No, we don't. Okay. So again, I think right on the corner here. So all the tech school buildings kind of have this similar grey almost. I think this architecture is, is kind of, is it called brutalism? I think. As, like, as rough as that sounds, I'm pretty sure it is called brutalism. Uh, it's because it's a lot of kind of hard straight edges. So let's take a look at that gymnasium and see what this is going to do. So gymnasiums provide the students with athletic, recreational and leisure activities or services. Gymnasium has a citywide effect on citizen health and increases campus attractiveness. And obviously it needs to be placed within a trade school campus area for it to work. Let's have a look. So for right now, we are so close to actually the next level. Let's go ahead and actually um, grant an academic work, which is the last one. Let's go for IT and engineering. And we'll grant that. And then when the academic year comes to an end, which isn't too far away now if we leave the game on three speed for once, uh, we will see that we will go up to the third level of this university. And that's going to give us a load of new stuff as well to actually play with. So I'm liking the way that this campus is beginning to turn out. We do need to go ahead and actually add in uh, the rest of these uh, keys that are... See if we can get a nice... Nice curved key up until here. Let's go ahead and delete that. I think I can actually delete this power line now, can I? Uh, no, but we can uh, substitute it elsewhere. Just so it isn't running right alongside the, uh, the coast of our university area. Because it kind of looks a little bit gross. There we go, we can just delete all that. There we go. I think we took out a little bit of a key there, we did. Just rebuild that in. So we're ready now from the river. You know, this place is starting to take shape. Definitely want to make a bigger kind of park feature um, out of the front here. But we'll wait until we actually unlock a couple more buildings. What we can do is place the fountain, which we have. So if I'm just going to kind of guesstimate the middle of this. So let's go for about there. That's going to give us a nice little fountain right opposite the police academy, which is going to look pretty sweet in the end. Let's go ahead and grab some more. Uh, don't want that there. There we do. Yeah, that's fine. And let's just bring these alongside up to the road here. We do need to plan for the road eventually expanding down this way. So let's do that now whilst we are here. Uh, again, I do want it to... Carry on adjacent to the railway. Now let's go ahead and clear out these trees. So apologies for the lack of activity recently. Um, I've been mega busy at work. And kind of YouTube has fallen to the sides a little bit, but not to worry. We are back today. I'm just gonna do a smaller one here. So I mentioned last time you can do it by five, but I just want a smaller one. So I'm gonna come out by four, and then three hundred. There. So that's gonna be a nice way to round off um, our university campus. Just with a little roundabout. Okay. Uh, I also elevated the bike path uh, alongside the river as well. Because when we placed it on the ground it was really up and down and bumpy. 
You think, you know, if you were actually cycling on that, you would absolutely murder uh, your genitals on the bike seat riding outside like that, just bouncing up and down constantly. Uh, so I thought, you know, the elevated bike path actually looks really cool. Uh, you know, kind of flowing over all this vegetation that's uh, along the side of the riverbed. Uh, and then it also cuts through uh, into the little park we've got going here that comes out by the police station. And then it also uh, heads back down over here as well. Uh, where we have this area uh, that we haven't done anything with. Uh, so I just want to kind of do a little bit of detail in here as well today. Okay, so we have this path here. Let's go ahead and link up these dirt paths. So I find a lot of the time when you're playing City Skylines, you can kind of just be looking at so many projects at once that you're just like, oh, you know, like, what do I want to do next? What's coming up? Um, that you just kind of get lost in the moment and you like leave a lot of things unfinished. And I think it is important to actually go back and properly detail and fill out those areas that you did forget about initially. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just spam in some trees here. I don't want to place in a little custom built park here. Let's delete these out of the river. These don't need to be on the beach. I'm just going to kind of spam my mouse trigger around. Let's take some of those off the beach as well. Make the brush size a little bit smaller here. Down to one. I'm just kind of fill in these little awkward bits that the brush can't quite capture. And I think we'll have a path through there as well. That'll probably make sense, wouldn't it? Let's have one right through there. There we go. Okay. I was just going to fill out that area nicely. Uh, I do want to carry on the same theme here. I'm thinking I may actually put a park here. Uh, just a tiny one. Let's go ahead and draw that in. Uh, so let's have the small one. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and actually follow the roads here. Let's grab a city park. I'm just going to use the small gate. We'll have that there. So I'll snap it on, uh, and then two side gates, one here and one here. And then this thing is nice and easy for us to hook up the fences to. Let's have it here. And that won't quite snap to where we need it to be. There we go. So let's have a look what we can place here. Uh, maybe a plaza right in the middle. And then I'll just redraw that fence and rock back in. Let's grab a nice rock, nice big one, just to sit in there. Okay, and then let's grab in. I think a cafe would be a good shout, and then uh, a set of restrooms as well. I see now we could actually place uh, the park pier in here as well. Yeah, okay, let's try that. And it adds a little bit more theme to this area. How are these ferries doing? Yeah, they're okay. There is uh, plenty of people. There's actually this is actually the bus line. Um, that is waiting to clear out, but there is here is the bus here. Let's have a look at this bus line Oh wow 316 at one stop Okay So This line is now almost too busy for buses um, to meet the demand for this amount of people on this line, let me just go ahead and, and find a bus. Um, would mean putting probably 
20, 30, maybe even 40 more buses on the roads to meet this demand, which is far too many. Uh, so I think now would actually be a good time to go ahead and introduce some trams into the city. Let's have a little mooch at this line here. So it's this baby blue one, the little turquoise one. Okay, so it's really simple. Let's go ahead and upgrade these roads here that it is following into tram lines. Okay, so let's have a little look at it. So it's looping around here. And then following these two outer roads up in there. Okay, so we can easily upgrade that. Let's go ahead and grab our tram roads. So tram roads will function the same as any other road, apart from the fact that a tram can ride them. So I'm just going to follow the same bus route, and we're going to upgrade it into trams. Uh, which way did it come down here? Came down this way. Let's grab our roads again. You will delete a few buildings on your way, but you know, don't worry about it, they will come back. Uh, and then it comes down here, so we need to upgrade into the door tram road now. Here we go, and then comes down here. And it could be nice to kind of mix and match your roads as well, I think. Uh, all this will need to be tram road. Uh, and then this will to an extent, and then we'll bring the road off across the field here, which will look pretty sweet. Um, and then this road also needs to be upgraded. So we have a little tram circuit around this area now. Okay, and let's come into our trams. And then we can grab uh, just the tram track. And then we're going to have... I wonder if actually... I'm just thinking if we actually keep the tram road separate from the main road right now. Um, it's going to require a bridge. I'm just trying to think how I would implement it back into here, but we should be able to do that. Okay, let's try it out, and we'll see if it looks disgusting. So I want this tram track to come through here. And then let's kind of aim. I think we'll have it join up with the University Road. So it's about now I'm going to want to start uh, bringing my road up. So again, the old five marker trick should do nicely here. So all my tree detailing is getting in the way. That's what I get for trying to make things look fancy. Okay. We can get rid of these train tracks right now because they are not being used. That's a good point, actually. Um, I need to turn them off. Uh, because they are costing me money and there is no need to be spending it because they're not currently in use they're just there as a reminder for me not to build in those areas because i always do uh, let's go ahead and grab our tram tracks again okay and we can curve a little bit now i think and come down here and then into there and then we'll think about re-detailing this path momentarily. But for right now, I am actually rather enjoying the way that this is looking. I'm going to cut straight through the roundabout here. So the trams don't have to follow that. And then... Uh, no, not that road. That needs to stay as the industrial. Uh, there it is. Okay, and then the rest of this road... Can be upgraded at will. 
Now, when you fire out your tram roads or upgrade a road, the bus lines will break, but give it a moment when you start playing your game again, and they will uh, come back in and snap back into what they were. So let's keep this as a one-way system. Aha, of course. Yeah, okay, so that can't be... Okay, well, this is actually perfect. Let's integrate a little bit of a tram uh, road. through our park that we have just built. Um, okay, so still this to be one way. Uh, let's see where we can upgrade this road back to a one way two. Will it snap if I bring it in here? Yes it will. And then I could upgrade that into regular road again. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I do like it when a plan comes together. And here. And tram road up through here again. And this needs to be normal. Can is a little bit finicky, but you will uh, manage to get it to fit eventually. Let's go ahead and draw in uh, these paths again. So what I'm actually going to do is to delete that part there. And we won't have uh, an entrance either side. We'll just have them on these roads here, not on the front. Let's bring these guys up. Let's turn our snapping off. Okay, we could decorate this park as well in a moment. And that's, uh, I think actually we'll delete this fence. And then just have it run the length of the tram road. Maybe make a little bit of a flower bed show in here. Okay. Let's have a look at our bus lines. We can see that this one here, lines overview, the baby blue one, Braithwaite, I now want to delete. Because we won't be using that anymore, and it is going to be replaced with a tram line. But before we can place tram lines, we need to place in a tram stop, exactly as we did with our uh, bus depot. You know, the trams actually need to come from somewhere themselves. And I think this place is pretty much perfect for it. Let's go ahead and, and, uh, and draw that in. Uh, tram road with tracks. We'll have this come out here. Drop here for right now. And that's perfect. So these things, let me go ahead and grab it again. I didn't show you there, sorry. So you can see they have noise pollution. So don't be placing them near your residences. They will get upset very quickly. Okay, so now this guy has access onto the tram lines. Got a nice little intersection here. This might get a bit busy, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Now let's go ahead and join our tram stops exactly like we do with our bus stops. We're going to move that stop over here. So that's just going to free this road up for tram users. Uh, trams, so let's have one right here. And then again, a pretty similar rule leave it to kind of two block distances up on here and then here right opposite the library would be a good spot uh, and then probably by the train station as well just for future use and then he's going to come all the way out of town uh, he's then going to stop outside the university and then he's going to head through town stop outside the um, train station and also coincide with the yellow line. So actually the yellow line can probably also be deleted now as well because the tram is serving the university so there's no need for that school line to really exist anymore. Okay, we'll see how that goes. 
Let's have another one here. Another one here. And we'll have one in the park itself. That'll be pretty tasty. And then up here again outside the school. And then he's going to mirror his stops heading back. And he's going to come back over here. And complete the line. Fantastic news. How much usage is that school line getting? Let me have a little look. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the first trams come out. Have, of course, if they were powered. Uh, maybe we can have a bit of a park in here, actually. I think there's nothing really. I think the park with trees is a little bit too grandiose. Let's have a small park in. And that should sink the power through. Yes, it does. Uh, and then, because we've placed a new park in. So, obviously, right now they're all bundling out in one go. So, they will back up, leave your game on three speed, and they will eventually uh, just clear as they begin to move around the line. Don't worry too much about that. Let's go ahead and draw up these paths to connect people to different sides. That's going to look. Really sweet. Uh, and then up here as well. And then down here. Okay. So that's just going to fill out that square quite nicely. Looks okay. Let's have a look at the line details. So we can see already that these trams hold 90 people. Uh, compared to the 30 that the buses hold. So we have tripled the capacity of our public transport network. And we're using pretty much the same number of buses as well. I think we had 10 buses on that line and there's only 13 trams on this line. So we'll see how that goes. And trams, in my opinion, look a lot cooler as well. It's cool to see the little tram intersections you know, where the lines cross over in the road. Uh, let's go ahead and name this, because it will need to be up there. So this is Braithwaite to Ivy Farms. And let's go ahead and make this the same nice turquoise colour that we had for the bus line. And again, that's just going to help us recognise it. Fire! Constant fires in this city. Thankfully, here comes the rescue helicopter to douse it out. This is a couple of them. Oh dear, it looks as though it's starting to scorch all these other trees as well. That's not particularly ideal. I actually wonder if this road here should be a, um, a main road rather than the small one. I don't think we're going to have the room to actually upgrade it. Yeah, we can't upgrade it because of the high school here. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter then. We'll just leave it as that for now. The inter drawing some paths through here. So it's, it's just little jobs like this that you kind of forget to go back and do. Leaving spaces like this. I don't think we can get down there, can we? Yes, we can. Fantastic news. Let's connect him up to there. Up here as well. And then probably... Nice little spot down here. Cool. Um, we seem to have kind of the general oak tree in this area. Let's go for brush strength. Brush size up a little bit. Let's pop a few of them in. A couple of these little guys. Don't worry about those burnt ones on the edge. They will eventually regrow when it decides it wants to. So we now have some cute little trams flowing over the freeway, which uh, I'm really, actually really happy with the way this has turned out. Uh, it's not the speed up a little bit, and we can see some more go past. There's also people walking along the tram lines as well, 
you can see them cycling along there, uh, which is looking really sweet. And it's made this highway look a little bit more important as well. You know, there's a couple of different bridges going across it. And uh, the trams have turned out really nicely. I'm happy with them. This roundabout does seem to be clearing up a little bit as well. Although it is still... You just see the difference in traffic that taking the buses off the road has made. Uh, we do already have a considerable clearance. Lots of people getting off at the university. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can delete this line right now. It isn't needed. The uh, the tram lines are servicing it. So that's totally fine. Let's have a look at how the new park is faring. We see all those people that were now crowded outside the ferry stop are actually leaving and deciding to take the tram instead. Just how many more people that is helping to serve. Let's have a little look at the details now. Again, you can see the buses are the stops are a lot less busy, and there's still a lot of room within the trams to take people around. So that's definitely helped. Really happy with that. Let's make something of a feature out of this little tram stop. Okay. So I'm going to grab a path. I wanted a little bit of a a ledge here, and I seem to have achieved that. Albeit probably by mistake. So right now everyone's walking. Um around the pavement so we could just do something simple like that and connect them up but you know that looks a little bit boring doesn't it so let's try and do something a little nicer I can actually make a very small don't think I'm actually going to be able to, which is really annoying. It would have been nice to have. We can have a little raised one at the angle. Okay, maybe we can use the raised ones. Just kind of use them like that. Yeah, okay, I think that's better than not having I did want a little kind of curved one, but uh, there just simply isn't enough room uh, for that to happen. Let's jump into our uh, park stuff over here and grab a flower bed. And let's kind of have these. in here I'm just trying to box off those awkward textures that generate with the paths Maybe a little garbage can as well on each side. Just kind of see what's going uh, within the prop menu. Can maybe have some of these. Gonna highly recommend you guys play with the prop snapping mod. I tell you what, actually, I think I am next episode. I am gonna install the prop snapping mod uh, just because it makes my life of doing these little mini details so much easier to have prop snapping on uh, than just trying to wing it but otherwise you can kind of really do whatever the hell you want uh, with these stops these people come up these little raised uh, elevation steps now so that's uh, really cool lots of public transport coming together right there very happy with that have a look how these guys are doing here. I don't think I really properly showed off this. So right at this main road here now. 
and Belmont College has become unrecognised. Oh, don't tell me it's not. It's Mr. Student Cap. Oh, it has as well. No, <laughs> that's so annoying. Okay, we'll have to wait another academic year, and hopefully the students will go up. That is incredibly frustrating uh, to miss that just by so close. So off this main road here in the farmland, we have this little offshoot now. And this crosses the train tracks. Comes down a little country dirt road, and this road heads off onto the highway. So that means that they have to avoid all of this if they want to. Uh, and then this just brings them uh, in that direction. They can disappear as they please if they're exporting goods. And then it comes into a little main tarmac road, and there's a nice little path through here so workers can come and go. There's some workers' barracks along here as well. And then there is a farm main building, which is what you guys have seen. There's a nice little field in here, boxed off with a barn that's storing crops. You have some more crop fields, there's also the same down here as well. So where you get these shapes where you know you can't place anything. Again, I do want this to be quite dense farmland, you know, I want to be kind of rows and rows of crops as far as the eye can see. When you get to these points, obviously they're not the right shape, so you can just box them off with a fence, place a barn on one corner, and it looks as though it is actually part of the building. There is some sheep here, and if you leave the game on three speed, these make the most horrendous sound. That is the stuff of nightmares. And then further down here, we've rebuilt the bridge over the river. This looks pretty cool. And then we've got some nice wheat fields down here as well. So the farm is starting to take fruition. You can see just how much space we still have uh, to fill out here. So that's going to be, be pretty sweet. How are we doing for leveling this place up? We do still need some workers. And we do have a little demand for industry right now. Uh, so I think that's a... A good time to actually expand the farm okay so I think I kind of want to save this space here my microphone has fallen apologies for the change in sound quality uh, very amateurish so I think I want to save these big rows here for the large farm fields when we do get them so for right now I'm gonna carry on uh, expanding this field here with a couple of new buildings Let's have these as cotton or corn. I think corn. There we go. So that's going to give us some more workers and more crops, which is excellent news. This needs to finish up emptying. Does this guy have a crematorium nearby? Where is he, where is he emptying to? Okay, he's having to drive a long way to empty. Um, let's give him a crematorium. Yeah, okay, let's blob it in there, and then we can just go ahead and replace that rock. No problemo. And then let's have a little look at what else we could possibly do to this park. I think I'm just going to flesh it out with trees. I don't think I'm overly sensitive about having this anything else let's brush size in no, no, let's delete those there there's a couple of trees around actually I have just had the idea of this entry can I place oh I can't that's so annoying I can't place a side gate on the tram road. It's kind of annoying. Look at all the people here. This is uh, pretty crazy. We need more ferries here as well. Uh, we need at least three more ferries. Let's put on. Let's go for four more or three more. We'll try three. There must be a lot of people waiting over at this stop, is there? Apparently there is. Okay. Very good. Okay, so now we've done a little bit of work on the park over there and upgraded our trams. I wanted to do a touch of work over here as well. So we now have a park pier, uh, which of course we placed down at the other end. But I wanted to get one in here as well. 
this is a cute little park picnic bench. Uh, and then I do want to kind of have a couple of uh, little forested areas. Probably we'll leave the forested area, the park contained to this area here. Just up and along here. Happy with that. Uh, probably on this side of the lake as well. Uh, not here. I do want to have some vegetation. Uh, up and along here. That one's a little too close to the curb. So I just want to have you know shorelines are fairly overgrown. Let's mix and match a little bit here. Let's have some smaller vegetations along the side. Uh, probably along here as well. Up onto the banking. And already that's looking better. Uh, definitely some rocks. Let's have some rocky outcrops along here. And maybe one here as well. I'm going to replace this vegetation in around the rock. It's a shame they can't blend. And uh, prop anarchy is needed here. <laughs> so I'm going to stop plugging the mods one day. Uh, and then I think maybe, just maybe, uh, a rock within the pond itself. Okay. Doesn't seem to have displaced the water too much. See, why does this need power? What on this pier requires power? Surely that's just like a little set of paid binoculars that don't need power. And there is a bin and a bench, a dog and two people. I don't know what requires power there, but okay. Um, Let's make a little bit of a gazebo feature uh, out of this so this is pretty cute uh, I want the dirt paths here I'm just gonna have this come right in front and then around the back And around the side. And then I want a little, not that big. Just a little bit of a, a colourful forest around here. Not really working with that brush size, is it? Brush strength is a little too intense. No. That is not what I wanted to do. Let's bring the brush strength down and do it properly. So just kind of like that. Put a green ones in here as well, just to kind of break up that onslaught of colour. It's kind of come with little ideas in your different squares that you can do here. You can always make something look nicer. Uh, I'll put these in as well. Okay. Uh, let's decorate these corners a little bit. Have a bench in right here with a sign and a signpost and uh, a street uh, a street light as well. Yeah, let's have a couple in and around the vicinity because I do want to see what this place looks like at night time. Let's go ahead and knock on our day night cycle. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, and just kind of focus in on one individual area at the same time. And I have to bring out the finer details. So we do have a couple of areas still uh, to unlock. And these are the climbing frames and the trampoline park, which I think I want to save for this area here. Again, I think I'm happy for this to be kind of the wild wooded side. Uh, although this will need uh, lamp posts. Because it'll be very dark at night time. Let's go ahead and place some of these. And then after we've done this, we'll have a look at the park level. Park information tab and see what it is we need to actually level this park up. Okay, so level three at the moment. Uh, we have the entertainment value. Uh, we simply just need visitors. Uh, see if we can help that along with a couple of policies. An advertising campaign, and this can be the main park for this area. And that should bring in a couple more people as well. I don't know how I feel about this tarmac road here. Or tarmac path. I think this should be dirt all the way through. And maybe when we place in the trampolines uh, and climbing frames, we can have some tarmac paths. Already that's starting to come together quite nicely, isn't it? I am really enjoying this city so far, it has to be said. So guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. Please enjoy the little outro targe uh, of what we've been working on today. Um, if you have any questions, or if you enjoyed the video, leave a like below. I don't know why I said any questions. <laughs> I never say that. <laughs> Work is crazy busy at the minute, so my mind's kind of boggled with that. Thanks for sticking with the channel. Um, I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you did, a like below is very much appreciated, equally as much. If you think I'm rambling and I'm talking like crap, leave a dislike as well. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching. Really enjoyed today's episode. feel like we got a lot done. It's nice just to kind of escape the rush of life and just sit down and play some cities. It's nice to escape the rush of life and simulate life, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of this tram line and a little mini-tage of the park as well. Uh, and I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.